Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are moving forward with the Faster Computer series and we are on episode 14. In the last episode we discussed removing the range that's associated with your paging file so that Windows doesn't waste resources trying to allocate within a particular range and instead runs to a static page file. Now we're going to right click on my computer and click properties and we're going to optimize your paging file. After you've right clicked and clicked on properties just select advanced, select settings under performance, scroll up to advanced again, Scroll down to your virtual memory and, and as you can see I have my page file range from 1216 to 1216. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to scroll down and go to start and click run. Type in msinfo32.exe. That's going to bring up our system information and what we're interested in is your total physical memory. Now if you have less than 512 megabytes of memory, you're going to want your paging file to be whatever that amount is times 1.5. So in other words, one and a half times that. If you have more than 512 megabytes of memory, a good rule of thumb is just to go ahead and make it equal to the amount of memory you have. I have 2048, so I'm going to go back to my paging file. I'm going to set the minimum to 2048, and I'm going to set the maximum to 2048. I'm going to click Set. Then I'm going to scroll up, and as you can see, my paging file is 2048 to 2048. I'm going to scroll down and click OK. I'm going to click OK again. I'm going to click OK again. I'm going to scroll up to system information. I'm going to go ahead and exit, and that's all there is to it. That's how you optimize your actual amount of paging file that's in your Windows XP memory. That'll ensure you have a good one-to-one -one ratio on your actual paging file memory. As always, leave comments and ratings. I hope this helped you guys out, and uh, stay tuned and subscribe because I'm going to try to post a video on how to speed up your computer every day. Thanks a lot.